Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hi, hi, how's it going? I hope all is well. It's 20, 24. Um, and it's time for those setups, right? So I've mentioned in my last video that I was going, I was interested in using an A5 and that is still true. The planner itself has changed, um, which I'll talk about for sure. But, um, yeah, not, at, I don't even know what to say to you guys, but I will say that, um, I did change my mind about a couple of things, uh, one of which is that I decided to go into a pocket rings versus the personal compact, um, simply because I was craving my pocket rings again. It used to be my go-to and I just fell in love with it. Um, and I just really wanted to use it again. And that's another thing for 2025. I will be using rings as of now. Um, I did all bound books for 2024. I said 2025 again. No! I meant for 2024, I will be using all rings. For 2023, I used all bound books. But anyway, let's get into it. So these are the two planners that I'm focusing on for 2024. Um... And this one's going to take a long time to get through, so I may have to break it into parts. Um, I'm not sure. I may do, like, put up a long video for fun and then break it into parts or vice versa. But let's talk about the pocket today. I'm really wanting to go through this one, but let's do pocket first because it's smaller um, and it may not take as long. So let's just move you over. Um, so I'm using Magilio, which I love. I have a couple of Gilios, but this one was my first pocket Gilio, pocket size. <laughs> uh, my first Gilio was actually an undyed um, personal size. But so I'm trying to adjust a bit. Um, I love love this planner so much and it doesn't have very big rings but as you can see you can chunk the baby up um by using the extra pockets it's given and the more you use a dilio the softer it gets and so i just have an ollie clip here to put um a grocery list on the top i will say that it does go along with my a5 this is one i carry with me everywhere i call it my trigger planner so it's it's more of like it trigger it triggers my brains with it, with things I need to do it's very simple um, but it is extremely useful so I just have some post-its here and these half page grids from cloth and paper uh, I will say that I have I'm only using what I have I have not bought anything for my pocket uh, granted, I may in the future, but as of now, I'm not. In the back, I've just got some Toma River paper uh, dot grid pages that I've cut and punched, and some gra gradient gray uh, tabs or little tiny post its. Uh, so, as you see in the front, um, cloth and paper. Someone made me this and another Ollie clip. This is one of my favorites, but I never get a chance to really use it. I do like how this planner set up. It's it's pretty simple. Um, the colors are very bland. It's all gray and black. Um, so I do enjoy that, that. I have three top tabs, which are my main sections, and then on the side I have these little tabs here, which pinpoint certain uh, subsections or pages. So this is my inbox page. Some more post-its here, cloth and paper, uh, Penis Planner Co. Um, and keep in mind, I've had this stuff for years, so I don't even know if they have this kind of stuff anymore. Um, but this is for upcoming events. Um, it has a date, time, and information, and a checkbox. So anything I don't already have in my January calendar, I put here because I set up my January calendar already 
for my A5 and in here, and I'll show you what that is in a moment, um, I go ahead and put upcoming events here. So if I'm out and about or something, or if some, we plan something quickly, or I need to plan, uh, make an appointment, it'll go here first, okay? To So I can put it into my A5. All right, so these little tabs here, I cut down from these these longer ones to fit into these little boxes for this insert. So I put this little, I trimmed down this insert um, that has four grid boxes and put it into this clear pocket. And these stickers, um, I hand stamped myself. I use my own stamps. Um, I'm sorry. I purchased stamps, I think, years and years ago. I've been using my hand stamping my own stickers for quite some time. I like the simplicity of them, and it's just great. The icons are wonderful. I would love to try some new icons that are even smaller. That would be even cooler, but I'm happy with these as is. Um, so to call, to email, or go online, to go somewhere like a meeting or whatnot, to buy or go to store basically if I were to go to a store it'd be here and what I need to buy goes here and this isn't like a grocery list a grocery list is separate it's like just the whole list um to do things I need to get done um to plan or project to delegate or file away or you know whatsoever and then things I need to do for work so let me show you how this works um, for example, I have already made my payment, so this comes off and it goes in the trash. Um, I've already had this meeting, so this can come off and go in the trash. I still need to make this appointment and I still need to get a shoe rack. Um, I've already done this, so it can go off. I'm doing this right now, but I will not take it off until I've completed it completely. I've done this. And this is a quick trigger reminder of what to do for uh the friday next friday so i need to actually write down the date although i have it in my calendar friday the So if I, before I put it in my calendar, it would go here. Does that make sense? Um, or vice versa. But this gives me a quick trigger of what's coming for work. Um, instead of having to like go to my calendar, I can go look here. Um, this is a one minute habit dash from Cloth and Paper. I really need this for my A5 because um, it gives you some things to kind of think about get out of bed right away, set daily intentions, take deep breaths, drink water, eat more greens, use SPF every day, like this kind of thing. I like, I like this. Um, I would really like to do like little, laminate this and do like little transparent circles to mark each day and then take it off as I do it. Um, so maybe that's a project I can think of. I've got a little key here. Um, it's for the getting things done method, the do now, plan it, delegate, and drop it. This is the inbox, and I have these little thingamabobbers, but I don't really use these, um, that much. But the next one, I've got the boxes, I've just got a, a variety. Um, I have my project planner here. Now, I really plan out my projects more so in my A5, um, but I do like the layout of this and I don't actually own this insert someone gave me one of these so I'm using this as a trigger like I said this kind of is like a trigger notebook for my brain it triggers my brain into what I need to do and want to do this to buy list is more for like things I want for myself um, mail to send don't really have any to send um, and I will be covering these with transparent notes I think and um, using it that way, which I'll show you what I mean. Uh, this second tab is daily, which it's not, 
it's not I don't use it daily daily I don't think but really but um I do look at this every day and I do hold it every day for the most part for most days so this is how I do my calendar in here instead of an insert um I like this a lot and when I'm finished I'll just stick it to one of the pages um to one of these pages or something or put it I don't know put it in my reference section or in this notebook in the back I haven't decided what to do with that yet but I'm thinking of putting it um, in the in my reference section. Okay, so over here we've got um, an extension of this. So it's a description of each day. But I have symbols and a color code system that goes with this. So, for example, I have a bill due on Friday. And I can go here and find out what bill it is, which I need to write down. So I'll just give you a little... So I will put this red money sign, and then I'll write the date, which is the 12th. I don't need a time. Put what kind of bill it is. And there you have it. And then I'll mark it off when it's done, such as this. So there's not really much order here because some things were planned before um, other dates. And then I mark off each day. I really love this system. Um, I almost want to use it in my A5, but I think I'm just going to leave it as is for now because I like it so much. And I would have to buy a whole new insert, uh, monthly inserts for um, my A5, which I'm not really willing to do. So that's how you do that okay um and I have a little bit of these to put on my dailies now my dailies vary I spill coffee I'm not gross like a kid knocked my coffee out of my hand the other day I use this I don't use these every day but I use this, like for example this first this is the fifth I use this for extremely busy personal days it's, it's more for personal not work related that kind of thing it's more at home you'll notice like by the dates that this was a friday this was on monday that i was home um a saturday so it's more like weekend type vibes like i said more personal um i do have some post-it dailies with these blank coffin paper again i'm using what i have for this pocket planner for now um, I'm falling more and more in love with this pocket planner, though, more so than usual than I have. My existing love for it is coming back. And then I do have these itinerary, daily itinerary pages for if I'm going out for a full day, that this is a great way, a great insert to use for that, to uh, manage how many things I need to get done. So, like, a lot of errands, that kind of stuff, will be used this. So I probably will purchase some more daily itineraries and, you know, that kind of thing in the future. I do have some printables still, but I hate printing out. I used to love it. Now I don't. I despise it. Reference, because I'm not good at it. <laughs> um, just stuff I've had, called paper dashboards. I like it, though, because it looks nice. Um, some blank, really small line pages. I really like these. They're very small and they go great. I love this dashboard. Um, it's the lighter or whatever. Some more of these. This is a mental download. Again, this little pocket planner is more of my personal, like, safe space, trigger, brain trigger book. Um, it has a purpose, and it has a, a productive purpose, but it's mostly for my sanity. Um, if I need to step away from the busyness of my A5, I can come here, and it kind of simplifies things for me and focus on it focuses more on my mental health um so yeah i haven't used the mental download yet i want to kind of mimic these in my a5 just write them out or in a journal just to or in a blank book just to try them out um because this is all i have of this and i i don't know um i would like to use it because i think it would work well um i need to find the rest of these though but anyway uh yeah just some Vellum. This guy is my cleaning list. Now I've put these transparent or trans yeah transparent post-it notes on top of here. Uh, 
so I don't have to reprint and honestly I don't really need to keep what I'm cleaning in a week um, this is just I use this just as a basis of what I need to clean like re for my resets my weekly resets and I can mark them off as I go um, and then take off the post-it and then create a new one but I do have a couple in here so I could do like a front and back so I could do different ones this is a power hour hour tidy trigger list it's not full I have a better one in my a5 but I will be filling this out I haven't played much in this one uh, like setting it up as perfectly um, I like the way visually but actually the inserts itself I haven't spent too much time doing that because I want it to stay basic and simple but um, it, it will come, you know, January, this is a mood tracker. I like having it in here. This is specifically just me and I have my little, um, code here and then I've got it there and all these post-its will be moved to, I'm thinking I'm going to just, I'm going to move them to a different page or I don't know I don't know this is on a blank page so I'll probably just like I have these Tonga River dot grids back here I'll probably just put those in there and then put the post on top or whatever because I do like using the post-its or I could start I don't know but I have a little book back here to put them in but I don't know we'll see what happens I just really like the post-it so probably just stay there my cats are going crazy this is a habit tracker from cloth and paper and I just put the whole month in here um, it could be redundant but I just highlight the days that I do it so skincare make bed Bible prayer um, power hour and time with my daughter not much of that has gone on because um, just some alone time um, on her part that she'd like and I understand that she's a teenager so I have a couple of those in here I may have to start using I may have to actually purchase them I do have more of these though I just didn't put them all in there um, the pocket planner is something I won't have a lot of inserts to keep. Like, a lot of it's going to be toss. So, again, I may cover it up with uh, those vellum post notes or whatever. Alright, I've got a little... This is uh, bills. Like, bill stuff. Um, year budget. Budgeting and bills. This is gift giving so you know out and about kind of things I do want to put a spending log in here as well so I need to do that but then this whole section is strictly for my daughter and I like little stuff she's done for me pictures of us um you know um codes that I don't even know are using more I've got these little these are reflection um prompts that are pockets they can go in the rings but I have them attached to this notebook along with this dashboard um, this is a really nice um, Dory notebook I think I don't, I don't know um, that I use for like setting intentions or just you know brain just to get emotions out whatever I want to use it for uh, it, initially it's for like self care mental health type stuff so I also have a little card here I can be or but still and then I have um, these under here are affirmation inserts and again like I said prompts so I can use those and then I taped the intention here card and then that's what I use this for and I really like it and I can store these away um, I can also stick those post-its when I'm done each month in here if I wanted, but I'm thinking of keeping this just strictly as like mental health. And then this little guy is a password note booklet. And that's all I have in here. Um, I enjoy this pocket planner a lot. It's probably going to be revamped to be a I mean, it's functional for me. It's super functional. Um, I'm just, the whole storing of the information is kind of odd. Like I said, I kind of created it to be like a throwaway per month type thing. But there, I do like to look back on all the stuff. So I, it may be something that I take the post-its out and then put it to my A5. 
and just stick on to my A5 as a reference for later. So anyway, that is it for my pocket planner. I'm going to do a separate video for my A5 because it's going to take forever to get through that chunky monkey. And yeah, hey, hey Cheeto. I know, right? Tell me all about it, right? You, oh, did she kick you out? Oh my goodness. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, love ya. Bye.